Hello everyone, and welcome to Primecast Plus. I'm your host, Emmanuel Class. We start off this episode with a little preview from some new artwork you'll be seeing in the upcoming Iron Kingdoms Into the Deep Wild expansion, which launched on Kickstarter this past Tuesday. Funding right out the gate, the project has already unlocked several stretch goals, and you can still get in on the early bird special if you pledge before 10 a.m. on Friday. Let's check out what you're going to see on the inside. The first three images by Russell Marks portray a handful of colorful and very deadly fauna you might come across during your adventures into the deep wild. Watch out for that painted troll! The next image is a shot of Carver Town. Yes, everyone's favorite pharaoh lord. Lord Carver, bringer of most massive destruction, Esquire the Third himself. Tighten your bootstraps and load your blunderbuss because there be brine bloods ahead. Admiral on deck! Boomheller's model lives up to the classy image that was the concept art in the previous Primecast Plus. Oh, and did I mention, she's been blessed by the brush gods. Admiral Boomheller was sculpted by Nate Brooks and painted by Josh Berman. If you're wondering, the octopus on her magnificent hat does actually have rules. Also sculpted by Nate Brooks and painted by Josh Berman is this well-equipped reef troll ready for combat as well as a little celebration at the end of the day. And then there's this big guy. Sculpted by Brian Dugas and painted by Josh Berman, the deep born dire troll along with his weaponized seafood platter. Painting these Brian Bloods with their amazing details is going to be pure joy. But wait, there's more. A couple new Brian Blood sculpts from Nate Brooks. Just look at all that stuff on the Quartermaster's back. But if that's not what your Marauders need to motivate them, maybe the Pig Tapper is just what they need. You'll have to wait for the expansion for him though. We'll finish off episode 14 with a fresh look at the upcoming first ever neutral monster from Monster Apocalypse, Xerox. Sculpted by Carlos Castano and painted by Josh Berman. Xerox is one of the most fantastically alien kaiju we've ever seen in the Monster Apocalypse, and we cannot wait to show you what he does. Well, that's the show for this week. Come back next month for your first look at Chimera, Shadow Flame Shard. Primecast out.